the first woman lead radio broadcaster, NFL's Washington team, uh, whatever their nickname will be whenever that gets done, um, they have hired Julie Donaldson as the first female radio lead, replacing the retired Larry Michael. Um, here's uh, here's the story from Clutch Points. It says, The Washington football franchise wants nothing more than to move on from all of the reported transgressions from last week. Less than a week after a report of widespread sexual harassment allegations in the organization triggered an abrupt departure, Washington has hired a new lead voice for its radio broadcast. The team decided to go with Julie Donaldson, making her the first female member of an NFL team's radio broadcast booth. According to NBC Sports Washington, anchor and reporter Julie Donaldson is being hired by the team to lead the crew. She's replacing uh, Larry Michael, who was one of the men named in the report. Um, before coming to the nation's capital, Donaldson was previously a reporter for SNY based in New York. She began her career in Miami with broadcast giant Fox Sports and has worked as a pregame host for the Miami Heat. She has done uh, a lot of stuff, right? So she worked for the Wizards game day shows. Um, I mean, she's, she's all over the place. And... You know, this is this is a smart move by <laughs> uh, Ben said. Can you just call them the Redskins or the Radskins until they get a name? Uh, yeah, all right. So the Washington Radskins have hired Julie Donaldson as the new play-by-play, and and this is awesome. This is a smart move by Dan Snyder and that bunch. Uh, it shouldn't have taken you know all of the allegations from last week, but I, I think you'd be you know kidding yourself if you don't think that that had something to do with this. Uh, do you oh, agree with well, that? that had everything to do with it, but I'm okay with it. You know how I feel about the, the people who call the games now. It's not like any of these guys are any good. So many of them are so bad Yeah, on TV, on radio. It's, it's rough. There's well, a, I'll tell you why. And, and it's ridiculous it's, that women haven't had more opportunity. Agreed. Because it's not like you're hanging on to Al Michaels, okay? Agreed, agreed. Like, With this situation, you, you though. somebody's th- nephew's friend in, in all of these spots. Every NFL team, every NBA team, every college team, every, you know, all of these different ones. And the national broadcast, there are so many broadcasting jobs because everybody has their own oh. broadcast network. Or their own what and and CBS and Fox and whatever they have so many different channels that they can put guys on and they've got so many different time slots that CBS and the CBS Sports Network if they've got two you got three four different basketball games that can happen in one day yep. and then you got two time slots on regular CBS and you got three on CBS Sports Network that's five broadcast teams for one day and then you got to move on to the next one. And you get, I mean, it's just a, a disaster, but it does give a lot of people more opportunities, and the cream always rises to the top. The right. best ones will always find the best jobs. That's just the way it goes. So, well, I don't know about that. The, the reason it's taking this typically. long is is because I think the majority of people that get those jobs are buddies of buddies or family members. Yeah, I think I think because because the owners don't care who's in that job. No, the coaches don't. Nobody who runs the organization actually cares who's calling the game because zero of them are listening to the games on the radio. Yeah, no, I, absolutely. I agree with that. Uh, Matt Miller said Washington are really trying to bury that sexual assault stuff with this name change and with this. And then Joseph Gomez said this is a very extended token for the sexism that transpired. Call me when there's a female GM on the Red Tails. Yeah, yeah. I can agree yeah. with that. I mean, I, no. I'll tell you this. I don't think Snyder's going anywhere. We've already discussed that last Friday, but uh, the stuff that went on with the Dallas Mavericks was uh, at obviously none of them are good, but I think the Mavericks stuff was, was even worse than this and Agreed. Cuban survived and he cleaned up that, uh, that organization. Now and, the difference is, is Mark know. Cuban was very absentee in all of that. Shame on him. Yep. As soon as he was in the loop, Attacked it aggressively. Oh, aggressively. Absolutely. And Snyder is going to kind of pussyfoot through this thing. Yes. Yes. Now you're right about that. You are right about that. All right. Let's close out today's show. We'll finish up with a little more college football. And. 